MBDA is rapidly becoming the, uh, the prime uh, weapon deliverer for the uh, Typhoon platform. We start with the, uh, the Meteor, the Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. It has an uh, advanced active seeker uh, in the front. What is a step change for Meteor is the, uh, the ramjet propulsion system. Most medium-range air-to-air missiles are just a, uh, a boost missile. The Meteor comes with a, a ramjet, and so the missile is propelled throughout the time of flight. And what that means is, in the end game, it has a higher speed because it's being propelled throughout and therefore a higher probability of kill. You combine that with the step change in Meteor, which is a two-way data link, it gives you uh, the pilot the ability to understand what the missile is doing throughout the time of flight. Moving into the shorter range arena, ASRAM, the Advanced Short Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, is a missile that works in the infrared spectrum, so an imaging uh, infrared seeker at the front, very advanced, uh, combined with what very few people know, which is the ASRAM rocket motor, is a six and a half inch diameter rocket motor. And that gives you about 70% more volume of rocket propellant compared to the likes of an A9X, for example, which is just a five inch rocket motor. Brimstone uh, will go onto the Typhoon and will be the closest support weapon for, for Typhoon. It will become a critical enabler because it is a unique weapon that can target uh, fast and maneuvering targets. Because it is unique in terms of the semi-active laser that uh, missile will home into, but fundamentally the seeker is dual mode and it has a millimetric wave seeker in there as well. And in the end game, the millimetric wave will lock on to the target as long as there's a radar cross section. And what that means with Brimstone is you get an unprecedented level of accuracy and the ability for a, uh, a first strike uh, every time. In fact, you can get uh, three on a launcher which sits on one pylon, means that the platform can service more targets in uh, one close air support mission. So ordinarily, on two pylons, you would just get uh, two JDAM or GBU, for example. Here, you can get six on the same uh, real estate. Storm Shadow, will, under P1EB, will give Typhoon a uh, strategic role. Storm Shadow is a, uh, a key weapon when it comes to employing Typhoon uh, to target uh, complex um, scenarios. It's a, uh, a five meter long uh, weapon comes in at uh, 1.3 tons. It's conventionally armed and uh, and standoff, so it doesn't put the platform into any risk in a uh, high threat uh, scenario. So you can employ the missile from outside the uh, weapon engagement zone of any of any missile. It uh, has been integrated on the tornado and seen operational service in uh, Iraq and uh, Libya uh, with great effect. Marty R is a bespoke anti-ship uh, missile uh, with a weight of about 260 kilograms. Uh, there are several customers demanding an anti-ship capability uh, for the, the Eurofighter and uh, we are working to integrate the Marty R onto the, the, the food. We are directly working with the Eurofighter uh, community. We expect the Marty R onto the Typhoon in 2020 uh, time frame. Several activities are already in progress and uh, we think that the Marty R is the best solution from an MBDA uh, port portfolio uh, to provide the Typhoon with an anti-ship uh, capability. Marty R is already under development and is the successor of the Marty MK2S that is already uh, developed and is already in service with the Italian Navy.